Welcome to Make a Path Presents. I'm Ronnie Hayes, and today let's talk about The Walking Dead in Skybound San Diego Comic Con exclusive items or merchandise you can purchase online, or if you're going, you can actually purchase it at their booth. Now, this is for the people that are not going. If you're going, chances are you know exactly what to do to get some of these items. Maybe you just want to see everything they have so far. This is July 1st. So after July, they might announce uh, a few more items. As of right now, they're done with figures from what I hear. Brian works at Skybound, and he posted on Instagram that there's no more Walking Dead figures going to be revealed. So uh, I'm pretty sure that is it. We're getting the Negan and the Glenn 2-pack. You'll see that in here. I do believe the Rick New Beginning we got uh, earlier this year, I believe that we got that around a time when we don't normally get figures so that might have been like an early you know figure release for us but anyway a lot of fans want to know how to get these that aren't going you can visit shop.thewalkingdead.com and this is taking place between july 21st to the 24th now sometimes you can order order this stuff while it's happening sometimes it's a week after you can order online so the best thing is to keep an eye on this channel and or keep an eye on skybound.com and chances are you will see them announce it when everything comes up for sale i'll definitely be talking about it or at least make a quick video so okay they recently announced the newest item which is going to be this Lucille bracelet. I believe it says, what, 40 bucks up there? Now, the thing I don't get is the blood here. It looks sharp, don't it? <laughs> Look, here's another angle. Yeah, that blood looks sharp. Now, one, that might just be for, uh, you know, the look of displaying this or showing this off, you know what I'm saying? Or that could actually be a very clever way to have some kind of, you know, stand for it. But I'm thinking that's not included, that blood. You might just be getting the ring because now that I'm looking at it, that blood looks pretty glossy. It looks like it was just dropped in the picture to give it that look. It should say somewhere that the blood is like, you know, uh -uh, because if someone really wants it to look like that, they're going to be a little bit disappointed when it comes. But anyway, I'm just saying I don't think the blood is there. If the blood comes with it, because it'll be small too, right? It's a ring. I think that would be pretty bad badass. Another thing they showed off the other day was Negan Kills. There's three comics. Now, they're, they're not Walking Dead comics, but they have Negan from The Walking Dead on the cover. And they don't have Outcast, which is disappointing. I would have bought Outcast. Negan Kills Outcast. I would have bought that in a heart, heartbeat. These are $10 a pop, and normally you can get these online. I buy all my Skybound um, com, uh, San Diego Comic-Con variant covers. Uh, I buy them always online at shop.thewalkingdead.com. So these are most likely going to be there for 10 bucks. Here's Negan Kills Birthright. Pretty cool Negan. A younger looking Negan though. And if you want to see these up closer, I'm going to put a link down below so you can visit skybound.com or thewalkingdead.com and check these out. Now this is my favorite. This looks like a combination uh, between Negan meets the Joker from Batman. I freaking love this. And then you got the guys down here and they're all chained up. <laughs> That's great. Uh, this one is Negan Kills Thief of Thieves. The, this one's pretty menacing. I like this too. I think in order of my favorite just off first glance would definitely have to be the Manifest Destiny, that look, uh, this one, and then uh, Birthright. Birthright looks a little too young. It looks like a younger version of Negan. But still, the art on all three is pretty badass. Now, this is something new. The I believe this is a company called Yesteryear or... Yesterdays, I was close. Uh, they make pins. Now, these I do not know if they're going to sell online. I have no idea. These will definitely be at the booth, but I can't really see these selling online just because of uh, shipping. Shipping might still cost a couple bucks to ship a pin, you know? So we have Negan, this black wax splash or whatever it says there. Splog, I couldn't see anything. Uh, and then we have this, a little overkill with the logos, but still, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it says it twice. Scratch that one. They could have put a cooler one there. But this is definitely a cool one. The Walking Dead with a bloody puddle of blood with Lucille hanging out there. That's pretty epic. This is probably one of my favorites. I love zombies. You know what I mean? So that zombie head with The Walking Dead, that pin is uh, another one of my favorites. Now, here's something that I get what they're doing here, and I don't want to harp on this for too much. But I get worried that when companies get you know big like this or franchises get big like this, once they start venturing out into the kitty items, the kitty products, they might be tempted to kind of 
uh, tame the themes that they have in their stories. Like right now, and especially in the beginning of The Walking Dead, it's brutal. It's still brutal. I mean, it's brutal as hell. So I'm really hoping these are. Uh, this doesn't interfere with that. Uh, if it doesn't, that's cool. You know, make toys for kids. I mean, my daughter, she loves The Walking Dead even though she doesn't watch it. You know what I mean? Because she hears me talking about it. She sees some of the collectibles and she wants this. She saw me pu pu pull this up on the computer and she wants everything here. So, she, see, so it's good for shit like that. So I completely understand. Uh, so we got what? I got to look over here. So we got Michonne's Katana. It says Abraham's M16, Carl's Revolver. Uh, with 10 bucks, no, 15 bucks, 30 bucks, 20 bucks. You can look at all this stuff if you're interested in buying it when it goes online. We got Andrea's rifle and then Rick's shotgun, uh, $30, and a refill pack for 10 bucks. So, like I said, you know, I'm a single father with a six year old daughter. I could buy a couple of these things, run around the house, we could shoot each other. That's no biggie. As long as the Walking Dead comic, you know, stays brutal, <laughs> that's all I care about. The comic and the show. Stop! Don't tame that down. I think the show is in more danger to be tamed and made family friendly than the comic. I think the show would definitely, uh, unfortunately, fall to that before the comic ever would. Now, this is something everyone's excited about. We already talked about this, so I'm not going to harp on it. But this is the full-sized Negan bat. The first ones they released were minis, and if you miss out on this, you'll probably be probably kick yourself in the ass because the price usually skyrockets however next year most likely they'll come out with a black and white version but again full scale bat so that is absolutely awesome my daughter already told me she wants one of these these are keychains i think they said they're four inches and it looks like they are what 10 bucks what does that say Oh, you gotta be shitting me. I just noticed that. Lucille 4 inch keychain blind boxes. Blind boxes are the worst. So, originally, I thought you'd be able to have the luxury of purchasing what you want dark brown bat, light brown bat. It looks like a glow in a dark one, and then a black and white version. And these are 4 inch keychain blind boxes. Alright, you know what? It says available in, but then at the top it says blind boxes. But it, the way it's worded, it's worded as if you can. Pick what you want. You know, if you want the black and white, you got it. But it says blind boxes up here, so that is real shitty. <laughs> so fucking dumb. And the worst part is because if you want all four, you might buy eight boxes and you might get the dark brown one, you know, six times. I mean, I'll just show you why blind boxes are dumb. My daughter begs me to buy these damn things all the time, and this is just what's on that shelf right there. She has maybe ten more of these Daryls. I eventually had to break her heart and tell her, we're not doing it anymore with the blind boxes. I lied. Every time a new series comes out, I'll buy her up to, you know, 10 of them. After that, it's like, you're just getting repeats. I'm going to shut up on the blind boxes. There's the keychains if you want to try your luck with that bullshit. Uh, here's the Walking Dead Compendium 3 hardcover. These are really cool. They're rare, I believe. Well, rarer. I believe they only make... 1500 I have the Rick Grimes hanging up there. Uh, that's Compendium 1 is Rick Grimes. Compendium 2 is Michonne, I believe, or the Governor. Shit, I forget now. And then Compendium 3 is Negan. And that's considered a red foil if you look it up and try to search it. They don't show it here, but there's also a two-pack of Saga figures. Here's the image on screen real quick. If you're into Saga... Uh, you might want to check on Skybound and TheWalkingDead.com for other figures or other things. This stuff looks like it's only Walking Dead right now in this wave set that they posted. But anyway, lots of fans are looking forward to getting this. This is the two-pack with the re-release of Negan. We've talked about this in a full video, so I'm not going to cover this other than, uh, you know, this exclusive bashed head with Glenn really makes me believe that they're not going to release it in the single edition. Now, if you see the figures here, these are single edition, single uh, figures that are released in stores, regular stores like Toys R Us, your comic shops, they release them into the stores. Uh, now with these, you can only buy them online or at the uh, conventions. And it's shitty if this is true, because if this is true, that's really unfair. And that's only because they announced it, the, the smashed head, they announced that coming in the store ver version months and months ago. And I just think that's unfair to do that to the fans and then just sh straight up take it away from them. They said you can get it in the stores with Glenn. And now there's fans that don't want this. As cool as this is, 
they don't want to rebuy Negan. They have him. They have every single other figure. They just want Glenn with a smashed head, and now they have to, to buy this if they want the smashed head. That's what it looks like. Uh, it still might come out with the smashed head in this loose figure, but I ask you, if that is true, why would it say this? Comes with exclusive smashed Glenn head. The only way that makes sense is if the smashed Glenn head got pulled from the store release, which is the single comic series five Glenn. That's the only way. That's the only way this box makes sense. So I will defend the fans on that. That is really shitty that they announced it and they took it back. It doesn't bother me any personally because I think this is an awesome set and I will be getting my hands on this and especially to review it. So the fans out there who want this but are not sure about that smashed head and they also want, they maybe they don't want this I mean, and they want the store version, you might have to bite the bullet and buy this. Do not miss the smashed head, or at least look into it. I'll try to look into it more. Maybe I'll message Skybound and see if we can get some answers on that. Yeah, <laughs> that's going to be it. Listen, there's lots of cool shit. I'm disappointed in the, the blind box with the, uh, the Negan bat. I'll be honest with you, because that was the one thing. Between that and the dart things, my daughter was like, Psh, I want a little mini bat, you know, a little keychain one, and then whatever, but... I just, I don't like blind boxes. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I tell you right now, I think that Manifest Destiny with Negan on it, that variant comic looks badass. I know I'm definitely getting the full-size Negan bat to review on this channel. And I'm also going to be getting uh, the Negan 2-pack with Glenn, both the color and the black and white. And then I'll give my daughter a damn dart gun or whatever the hell it is, the Nerf gun. <laughs> Let me know what you're going to pick up from this year's San Diego Comic-Con. Do not forget... If you're not going, I know I can't make it. If you're not going, you can also buy these products at shop.thewalkingdead.com. Down in the comment box, let us know what you're getting. I'm done talking. It's your turn. Subscribe now.